Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> we daily vlog, so if you like today's video and it's going to get happy, <laughs> come, come back, back tomorrow. The next day, the next day. I've had a very bad day mm -hmm. at work. And I have a bad headache and like, I don't know, how would you explain my day? Just like... Kerfuffled mood. Kerfuffled, yeah. But she needs to focus on the fact that she had like a 15 minute conversation with Violet on FaceTime that was like talking to an actual, like she's at a point where like she's an actual human now. Yeah, I'm going to put in some screenshots from it here because I took some. You took some? Yeah. Um, but like she actually was like, me and her were FaceTiming. It wasn't like me and Christina were FaceTiming and ah! Violet was there. <gasps> The thing that was heavy on my heart today, the thing that was heaviest on my heart, was that I got a call and was like pre-screened for our last fertility clinic appointment, and at the end they like, I don't know, they kind of slid it in there like, oh and by the way like, because of everything we are definitely like keeping it strictly to just patients receiving treatment. And I asked, I said, even if it's a final OB scan, and they said, unfortunately, yes, it's just, that's the case. So Peter will not be able to come to our very last, cl like, clinic appointment, say goodbye to the team and all of that. Um, so it was just kind of bittersweet. And I know that we can go back and, like, say bye, and I'll be able to film. But Dr. Loy is so busy, like, it's, I don't know if we'll ever get a chance to go back and be like, can we go sit, can we yeah. say hi to, can Mr. Loy come Yeah, up? so come enough play. of... Sad. The sadness. We're gonna make a good dinner. We're gonna enjoy our time together. Ah! She's gonna. Love oh gosh. Us. Um, She's super sleepy. So the rest of the night, we're just gonna be joyful. And we know, like, it's okay to not be joyful all the time. But um, that's why we we love the vlog so much. Is that it's to make sure we're remembering every day the ups and the downs. Um, like this. But truly focusing on the ups and and making the ups happen. So I made this quick concoction of black beans, refried beans, just plain, just normal refried beans, a tomato, some green chilies, chili powder, cumin, pepper, all that good stuff. And I'm going to make similar little wrappy burritos like I have in the past. So we're actually going to make the burritos more like chili cheese burritos because we have that vegan cheese and I think with the other stronger flavors it'll it'll be good so I'll show you the final product so that's how it looks I did take a bite and honestly it's super super good the cheese has just enough cheesy flavor but doesn't overtake it I really like it this is how it looks before I flip it and then after I flip it I need to know something. I need to, need to know something stat. From me? From you and from everybody in the comment section. Is the quickest way to turn around your day, no matter what kind of day you've been having, food? Because that literally, this delicious food, I don't even care about anything that happened today right now. I mean, I still have a headache that I think is induced from the stress <laughs> of the day, but emotionally... Food will help. It's the best. This is the third one we've been having. Could them. taste this. I'm about to have a cookie too. I forgot about the cookies. Oh! For anybody who's keeping up to up on track, I'm almost done playing Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Also, I found this new YouTube channel. I think it was in like the trending or the homepage called "Doing It Ourselves," and so far then they have three vlogs out, but they're killing it. First one was posted a couple weeks ago and already has 800,000 views. It's a family who bought an, an old chateau in France and they're redoing it. And like, they do weddings that they're right now, but they're like re slowly going to renovate the whole thing themselves. So we're going to give the first episode a whirl. It is doing it ourselves. Look at that. That's crazy ago, and beautiful. Me, my brother Billy, and his fiance Gwendolyn took on the mammoth task of restoring this stunning French chateau. Alright, I fell asleep during that YouTube video, so I put on the core, but Sarah fell asleep too. Well, this isn't the sweetest thing that's ever happened after Sarah's woken up from a nap. 
he was for some reason just relaxing on the couch, letting Sarah pet her while she looks at me so sweetly. What is this? And it's been going on for a long time. It's been at least like six minutes. This is the greatest. All right, so this came in the mail the other day, and I feel like I just want to quit my job and travel the world. Well, you're all blurry. Oh, do I have couch marks on my face from sleeping? Not really. Okay. Sarah randomly put on something I've wanted to watch for months and months and years, but I feel like we just never wanted to watch it, or I was nervous you wouldn't want to watch it. I don't know. It's not a valid thought of mine. Maybe just like we don't typically have the time, and now we have the time. What is it? It's called the National Parks Adventure. And it's one of those gorgeous things. It play. It's on Netflix, and it starts off playing Hallelujah, and it's just like scenic shots of the national parks, which I've wanted. We've always wanted to go explore the Northwest after driving Route 66, and all my trail runners. And you guys know I'm, <gasps> I'm not. I'm not bored by it. That's not why I was going. And you guys know I'm. I'm a trail runner who's never run a trail. I think we need to uproot and just go live in a we need van. To go. Six months Wildlife after. Wildlife and its habitat cannot speak, so we must and we will. Teddy Roosevelt. Thanks, Ted. I'm just telling you. There's a way the Brook Arts can go. We get, we're going to find a way for us to just go show our babies everything in the whole world. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Joyful. Watch that National Parks adventure on it's a Netflix. It's 40 minutes and it's really great. I think we should watch some of our vlogs. So obviously we've been talking a lot about missing Disney, but we also haven't like, that was like our truest vacation. I wish so bad we vlogged Route 66. Can you imagine? Um, I have a lot of good pictures of Route 66 and I'll put the link to our public photo album in the description because that exists but i think we should go through some of our old vlogs oh, wow. and think about the things we miss and maybe put some clips in and have some disney magic in our vlog yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, it was and your actual birthday, but it was four parks one day. Yeah. And I say the most ridiculous and cheesy things in these vlogs. How do you guys watch them? <laughs> They're so fun. <laughs> but this is also our first time ever at Flower and Garden. I also, we like don't, I didn't, well, no, I won't say we, I didn't know where things, we were at Polynesian on the other day of this trip, and I was like, wait, they have Dole Whips here? Like, it's not in Captain Cook's, because I was there, and, and Sarah's like, Peter, like, just now Sarah was like, you didn't know where the Dole Whips were, and I was like. Because it used to be a self-serve stand. It was, yeah. But then it turned into the little window. There was a Peter that didn't live here before, so, sorry, everybody. <laughs> Hey Sarah. Hey what? Are you still hungry? Am I still hungry? Yeah. I'm not like starving, but I'm hungry. I can definitely eat. You're starving. Like, <laughs> we could get some like, we could get some red cabbage. Yeah. Or some mustard. Or some carrots. Donald, Huey, Dewey, and Louie got our back. Are you excited to be at a festival we've never been at? Yeah. Flower and Garden. Well, I lost you. Oh, no, wait, there we are. There's Jenna. And little Sarah and Christina. There we are. It's your birthday? Yes. That's awesome. Oh, don't worry. I won't ask for it. Okay. 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 Here is the line of adventure. And we are not crossing it. Oh, no. The second we cross the line of adventure. Okay. 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 So this is what's currently happening right now. Sarah is doing what you tell every little child not to do and putting a a plastic bag over her head. Oh, we got many, <laughs> we have many puppets here. Come on, <laughs> children. <laughs> You're stuck. Oh, no, I don't want to break that umbrella. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we said we don't let rain. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we said we don't let rain. Stop us from doing anything in Disney World. And this is fact. This is proof. Sarah, what are we watching on the vlog? Mm. Piano player at the Grand Floridian. And we're so nervous to see if it's Wes or not. I'm don't... so sick on this trip, but I don't even know if we talk about it. Oh my gosh, is it him? <laughs> ah! It is! It's Wes! All the way back in our 2016 trip. He looks so young and dapper there. His hair's short. And more colored. We just caught the island. Yeah. He's right there talking to guests! <gasps> Wes. I'm going to put in clips here of delicious food we ate this trip. And I will forever back the Disney dining plan if, if you're, you're going to go to Fan not fancier, but just like the more like expensive slash like experience driven restaurants. If you are going to go to the, those types of restaurants with characters anyways, then it's worth it. If you plan on just going to quick services, if you just plan on even just going to places like sci-fi or places that are more of like a hamburger and fries, um, I would definitely do the math with the menu but truly our favorite dining plan is where you get one quick service and one table service meal a um a day or i'm sorry it's like every night of your stay and that comes with a resort mug which is game changer because that's all the pop you want and i think a snack every day too again we haven't done it in a while so i'm sorry if this isn't like this by no means am I trying to do like an informational bout here. Um, 
but we find that still fills us up throughout the day and it's so worth it and i think now they even come with alcoholic beverages so i want to go on a disney world vacation right now and get the dining plan and get all the dining plan and all the treats and all the snacks and all the stacy and all the coffee and the benches and the and the resort booths, mugs and the resort mugs and the mornings on balconies i thought i saw this, a plaster out our window but it's just a tree <laughs> this trip when we went to typhoon lagoon on it it said like all the times for like the nighttime spectaculars and it was wishes main street electrical parade illuminations fantastic those were the days. Confess something you've never confessed in a vlog on the Fan 5207 that we just watched. What? You made a wish at a wishing well. Uh, yeah, we put in a quarter for a wish for a baby. Just make a wish and soon it all will make it come true. come true sure do we need to go to bed because it's one in the morning almost but look how pooped this puppy is this puppy is like hiding in the depths of the table raise your hand if this is your favorite stage show of all time and you miss it every day of your life <laughs> we reverse that <laughs> what? I should think about being reincarnated as a duck. Duck, duck. <laughs> you know, good duck. You just like your father. <laughs> April 9th, officially 11 weeks today. Nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more so that we may fear less. That's very a, cute. Very fitting for this time right now. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Hope you enjoyed some of those throwback clips of the Fab Five Two Hundred Seven vacationing. Those parks. Missing the parks a lot. I, I just told Sarah life. I'm contemplating, depending on what day of the week the theme parks open, that I might take the day off of work and we just go all day. <laughs> Good night, sweet Papo. That tongue. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>